It only on nine hundreds of thousands of dollars missing from one tri-state municipal government. Drivers paid fines for speeding, but a lot of that cash has disappeared. Nine News anchor Brendan Keefe is here now to break a months-long I-Team investigation. Brendan? Clyde Carroll, Arlington Heights is a notorious speed trap. Officers write at least 20 times the number of citations issued by the average Ohio community. But is it highway robbery? Tonight, not one, but two former chiefs of police from Arlington Heights tell us the village has known cash from your speeding tickets has been vanishing for more than a decade. No matter where these drivers are heading on I-75, thousands of them end up here. Mayor's Court in Arlington Heights, Ohio. I'll give you one last stay to pay. The tiny village of fewer than 900 residents exists entirely between the north and southbound lanes of I-75, a profitable one-mile stretch of interstate where drivers often exceed the 55-mile-per-hour limit. Somebody's stealing your money. Somebody is stealing your money and they don't do anything about it? Mark Grodicky was the police chief 10 years ago, when, as the top law enforcement official in Arlington Heights, he began to suspect some village employees were siphoning cash from traffic tickets. People were being arrested for warrants that Arlington Heights issued for people who didn't pay their citation, we pick them up and they go, I paid that, I paid it in cash. The chief says he took evidence of a missing $3,000 bag of cash to Steve Serber, then the elected clerk treasurer of the village. We obtained documents showing Serber was notified of the possibility that citations may have been improperly handled as far back as a decade ago. This 2002 letter from the chief to the mayor at the time, copied to clerk treasurer Serber, called for an outside independent agency to conduct a complete audit of all tickets written. No outside agency was brought in. You're allowing your employees to steal money. I'm telling you, they're stealing money. And, and you do not take an action to correct that? Grodicky resigned as chief to run for mayor. I would run for mayor and I would clean it up. Well, that kind of backfired. I, I didn't win. His replacement, police chief Rob Lawson, tells Nine News he quickly developed the same suspicions. Five years ago, Chief Lawson sent emails to clerk treasurer Steve Serber. Just a quick review of the multi-count uniform traffic ticket book, your numbers don't add up. Chief Lawson went on to report in the 2007 emails, I have found inaccuracy in the numbers. We need to sit down and have a meeting over this mayor's court issue. Why do you have two police chiefs telling you these people are stealing money and, and you allow it. I'd, and you allow it. You allow it. Money continued to disappear, according to the Ohio Auditor. A routine audit last year identified significant undistributed monies in the mayor's court, and the village was forced to pay more than $40,000 to the state for Ohio's cut of missing fines. 395 Traffic Steve Serber is now the mayor of Arlington Heights. He's refused our multiple requests for documents and an on-camera interview. Mayor Serber, Channel 9. So we tracked him down on the street. When's the first time you heard that there were questions about citations and about fines in the mayor's court? February 2010. February? Maybe about there, maybe a little bit sooner. Is this your name here, sir, on this letter right here? Yes, it is. Dated 2002. This is from Chief Grodicky to Mayor Harper, CC to you as fiscal officer. Yes, sir. I feel an outside independent agency should do a complete audit of all tickets. Correct. Citations may have been improperly handled. Did you see this letter? Yes, I have. So the first you learned of this was not 2010, but 2002? When I was a fiscal officer. Okay. Mayor Serber told us there was nothing he could do when he was clerk treasurer. Were you aware that employees were pocketing money from no, tickets? not at all. We were trying to, as a fiscal officer, I was not in charge of mayor's court. You're the clerk treasurer. You're the treasurer. The one who handles the money. The one who's responsible for the money. Absolutely, it's his responsibility. Serbert could have done something 10 years ago, according to former Chief Grodicky, who had gone directly to the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation. BCI told me I could not initiate the investigation, that I had to have support from the mayor or the clerk treasurer. So I was in... Steve Serber's office almost every day. Did Chief Grodicky come to you and say, I think there's problems, I want an investigation? Yes, yes he, he said he thought there should be one, yeah. Why, why then was no investigation I was conducted? I the mayor, I could not do any more than 
right. try and figure out how the system worked and what they were doing. Now, the mayor, Serber, did call for a special audit last year, but only after former Chief Rob Lawson also went to BCI. Personally, I asked them to come down and do the special audit. I want to know what went on, how it worked, and what do we need to do to correct this. But 10 years ago, when you got this letter, you were powerless to do anything about it. Couldn't as you have a, gone to BCI and at, said, I, as a fiscal officer, even if this isn't under my purview, I feel a moral obligation to report wrongdoing or, the, or potential for wrongdoing? I can't tell you exactly who I talked to, but at the time, I did sit down with the people that ran the court at the time. They could have stopped it when I was police chief. They could have stopped it when Rob Lawson was police chief. They chose not to. The special audit is now complete, and it's in the hands of the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office. Multiple sources close to the investigation confirm the auditor discovered $262,000 in cash missing from the Arlington Heights Mayor's Court over just the two-and-a-half-year period of the audit. audit. I spoke directly with Prosecutor Joe Dieters. He says his office plans to bring the case to the grand jury by the end of this month. And Dieters says charges will be filed in this case because, quote, someone was stealing the money. Clyde? And those developments will be interesting to watch, Brendan. Thanks.